tell y'all the blackout story. Uh, yep, another bombshell story time. Hey, when I first started managing, I was at 290, and I swear they were just doing the construction on 290. All that being said, um, yeah, we constantly had power outages. All right, they constantly turned up the power because. I don't, I don't know what the fuck they were doing, all right? I'm not an electrician. It was me and another manager, and it was just jumping the whole night, all right? We were like, damn, like, we're up in sales. We're, like, kicking everybody's ass. And then came about 10, 1030, and then boom. Yeah, we lost power. All right, so now our next mission is to get everybody paid so... Get everybody out. Get everybody paid. We had one computer that actually worked off a backup generator. And we got everybody paid out. But that's not the funny part. So, yeah. We had all these drinks already made. Whether it be shots. Whether it be beers. Whether it be margaritas. Yeah, they had to go. And they didn't go in the trash. Just to say, my whole entire staff was drinking everything they could find. Alright, because... We had to get the fuck out. We had to get everybody the fuck out. We had to get all this shit moving. Now, the funniest part is that I was actually smoking a blunt with my security, all right? My other manager smoking a blunt with the bartender. We're, we're all just getting high, you know, just coasting back. It's funny, but also scary, all right? My sister is the GM. She is the head honcho. Still to this day, we call her boss. So, with that being said, when she pulled in, the power came back on. I ran inside because I was like, oh, fuck. So, my sis comes in. She's like, what the fuck are y'all doing? I'm like, I'm trying to get the computers back up. Yeah, I'm high as fuck at this point. The other manager's high as fuck. He sneaks back in, too. We all just kind of sneak back in. But we have one bartender that is just fucked up. One night, that one bartender, all right? We can't find. We already got her money. We already got everything that we need from her, but we cannot find her. So we just say, fuck it. Hey, she'll be all right. Uh, yeah, she works tomorrow. So if she comes in tomorrow, she's, she's fine. But we had like eight pounds of crawfish that we already had in the pot. And somebody had to eat it. Guess what we did? By far, one of the funniest shifts I ever had to work. But I will say... If the power ever goes out at 290 or anywhere from the ma that matter, do not get drunk. Do not get drunk. At least wait. For all these fucking stories, I'm just like, I ain't shit. But get fucked, stay fucked.